Welcome to another Happy English Podcast coming to you from New York City. And here's your English teacher, Michael. All right. Thank you, John, and thanks, everyone. This is Happy English Podcast, episode 504 10 Ways to Use Book. Hey, guys, Michael here. It seems like spring has finally come to the Big Apple. I took a walk around Bryant Park this afternoon. The sun was shining, the sky was blue, and tons of people were out enjoying the park. Thank goodness we've closed the book on winter. That reminds me, for today's English lesson, we're going to have a look at the different ways that we use the word book. This simple little word has a number of different uses in English, including some idioms. And since you can't judge a book by its cover, let's have a look how we can use this little word. Of course, I'm sure that you know, we use the word book when we talk about the thing that you can read, which has many pages connected together on one side. For example, Harry Potter is a pretty famous book. Grammar in Use is a popular English book. Well, here are some other common ways that we use the word book. We also use the word book to mean a set of things, generally flat, thin things. You can have a book of matches, a book of tickets, a book of stamps, a book of checks, and so on. For example, they gave Joe a book of matches when he bought cigarettes. I picked up a book of stamps at the post office. The bank gave me a book of checks when I opened my account. The books means a set of records, and we usually use the books to mean the accounting records of a company. The person who takes care of the basic accounting records is called the bookkeeper because we say that this person keeps the books. Keep the books means to maintain the accounting records. When you balance the books, you make sure that the records are accurate. We can also use book as a verb. The verb book means to reserve a place or buy tickets in advance. For example, I booked a nice restaurant for Mother's Day. I'm going to travel this summer, so I need to start booking the hotel and the flight. You can also book a person. It means you arrange for a person to perform at an event. Here are some examples. Jenny booked a magician for her son's birthday party. When I used to play in a band, we were booked two or three times a month. On a related note, you can say that a place or a person is booked up. To be booked up means that all of the places or appointments have been taken and there is nothing available. The pizza restaurant was booked up for this weekend, so we need to find another place for Jack's birthday party. I tried to get a flight to Miami this week, but all of the flights were booked up. Also as a verb, book means to leave or leave quickly. For example, I have to book right after work because I have a doctor appointment. It's getting late. I think I should book. In a similar way, book it means to go or leave quickly or in a hurry. For example, I didn't want to be late for the meeting, so I told the taxi driver to book it. You'd better book it if you don't want to miss your flight. Next, when you do something by the book, you follow the rules very carefully and exactly. Here are some examples. 
The first time you cook something from a recipe, you should do it by the book for the best result. The boss is not flexible about vacation time because he runs the office by the book. We also use the phrase "in my book" to mean "in my opinion." When you use this phrase, the stress is on the word "my." In my book, in my book, like that. Here are some examples. In my book, Lombardi's has the best pizza in New York City. Smalls is the best jazz club in my book. And finally, when something finishes in an amazing or extraordinary way, we say that's one for the books. For example, Fabrizio had the highest speed at Monza this weekend. That's one for the books. Well, we finally finished painting the whole house. That's one for the books. Well, that's one for the books today. We've come to the end of our English lesson. If you want to read the examples in this lesson or get word-for-word -word transcripts of the Happy English podcast, just visit myhappyenglish.com and check lesson five o four. Thanks for studying, and I'll see you next time at Happy English. Catch you later. This podcast is brought to you by Happy English. Please visit myhappyenglish.com. Show your support for Happy English by leaving us a review. Get English. Get happy. Happy English.